Hey guys, I'm Jackie and welcome back to Jackie Naturals. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Now, if you haven't noticed by the title of this video, I am doing a super highly requested video of how I make my fermented black rice, guys. Yes, it is for longer, stronger, fuller hair. If you guys follow me, I started my hair journey started going natural back in March 2016 and I started using rice water April of 2018 and I have not stopped it has made such a humongous difference in my hair my hair has never been this full this long this strong guys when I say my hair does not break it does not break now do I have the normal shedding of course but my hair no longer breaks it has never been this healthy I cannot stress that enough I just want to share this with you guys. Like I said, it has been over a year. It's been a year and four months to be exact, just over, and I have not stopped using it. I totally love it. I did do a video back in December 2018, and I will link that down below of when I first did it. It was with white rice. I am now using black rice, which has a lot of nutrients and vitamins, even more so than the white rice. But if that's all you have, definitely use it, guys. Something is better than nothing, I'm telling you. The Yao women of China have been using it for centuries. Guys, I will insert a picture of their hair and it's long right here, but their hair is amazing. Now I do not want my hair that long, but I love how pretty and shiny their hair looks. So I am definitely down for the cause. So guys, just to let you know as well, I normally wash my hair one time per week. Typically Sunday is my wash day. If you follow my channel, you know that. But what I normally do is I use my rice water and I put it in to re-wet my hair and then I apply my deep conditioner and then I deep condition for about 15 to 30 minutes, typically 30 if I'm rushed 15. And it has made such a tremendous difference. I definitely think the rice water has helped, but I think the combo has been just it. It is my go-to. You gotta try it, guys. You just have to. And you can thank me later, okay? So I don't want to drag this video out, guys but we are going to go over to my kitchen and I am going to show you how I make it. Now, if you guys wanna see how I use it, I have multiple videos of doing reviews and you see me using it. I will link the playlist down below so you can check it out. It's a lot of the product reviews and the hair product reviews, but you'll see it. Guys, again, it is just the best thing ever. It has changed my hair game and I'm so happy. I love my natural hair. This is all mine. It is so nice and full and long and strong guys so let's go over to the kitchen and we will get started okay guys so we are currently in my kitchen and I am going to show you the ingredients and how I make my fermented black rice water for longer stronger thicker hair and the proof is in the pudding because my hair was a mess so let's get started the first thing you're gonna need is black rice I um, heard about this from my girl Selena Zunchuk this is the one that she actually used I did purchase this on Amazon I was unable to find it in stores in my Publix or Walmart but any pretty much black rice honestly if you can find organic would be best but anyone should be able to do then you're going to need a mason jar or something that can tightly close and this is the one I'm using I did purchase this at Walmart I think it was two for like maybe eight dollars this is a 16 ounce and this is the one that I use and you're gonna need one cup of water and you can see it there kind of it's one cup of water and this is filtered water I did not use distilled but still they say is the best but filtered water is fine as well I just wouldn't use tap water don't use tap water this here is um, some more filtered water. This is just going to be used to clean the rice because you do need to clean your rice, but we'll get into that more shortly. You're also going to need a strainer to strain the rice. And you can use either four tablespoons or one quarter cup measuring cup. So a quarter cup measuring cup, as you can see here, is what I'm going to use. That does equal to four tablespoons. So you guys know in case you don't have the measuring cup. So I am going to take the quarter cup 
and take out that much rice. So I do try to make sure that it is even. So that is my full quarter cup of rice, which is four tablespoons. We're so, just doing using this bowl to clean the rice. So we are now done with the measuring cup. I'm gonna put that to the side. And we are gonna take just the extra water that we have to pour it in the rice just to clean the rice. And all you're doing is to get rid of the dirt and impurities that's in the rice. And I like to take my hand and just massage it as you can see just to clean the rice and get rid of any like i said dirt and impurities that's currently in the rice because we want only the good stuff to put in our hair to get that maximum hair growth okay so again i have this other bowl here just for recording purposes but we're going to go ahead and strain the right. rice so we can get just the clean rice so we're straining out the bad rice right now Okay, so now we are going to discard this bad water. This is not the water we're gonna use, so I'm just gonna put that in my sink. And we're gonna open up our mason jar. And as you can see, the mason jar that I have, it's Ball is the name brand. And it has like this extra seal, so it has that extra protection to make sure it's secure. And that's why I kinda like using this one. So what I'm gonna do is just pour all my rice into and again this is a quarter cup of rice we're just pouring it into the mason jar okay so this bowl is done we no longer need it like I said this was all I normally don't use as many dishes I'm just doing this for um, video purposes so you can see the full aspect of it so all we do now is take our one cup of filtered water and we're just going to pour it right in here. Now we are going to seal our mason jar. And what you want to do, this got up, just in case you're wondering, this is 16 ounce, it got up to 300. So what this is going to do now is ferment for 12 to 48 hours. And then we're going to assume that this has sat for 12 to 48 hours. It has not, as you saw, I just made this. But I, this is the one that I made on Tuesday night. It is currently Friday afternoon. So it has been sitting for a little over 48 hours. Please forgive me, I was supposed to film this last night, but this is kind of what it's gonna end up looking like in case you wanna see what it's gonna look like. And what we're going to need is a spray bottle because you are going to pour this into a spray bottle, just the water. So I am gonna show you guys how that part is done. So guys, I am sorry, but I forgot to tell you guys, you do need a spray bottle. And we are gonna need this to transfer the rice water, which is the prize piece, the golden stuff that we're gonna need for our hair. We are going to put it into this spray bottle so we can apply it. Um, so what you do is, I like to use the same measuring cup only because of the fact that it has this little pour so it's easier to pour into the, um, the spray bottle. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna take the lid off. Like I said, this is the one that has fermented. It has sat there for just over 48 hours. I do apologize, like I said, it is over 48 hours, but you see the difference in what it looks like. So this is what it should look like um, once it's all fermented for the 48 hours. So I am going to use my strainer once again and just pour in here. So we want all of that goodness out. So guys, this is the good stuff. So I'm gonna put this rice down and I am just going to pour this good water right into my spray bottle. So, this is the fermented rice water that we are going to use for our hair. It is all done. This is a six ounce bottle, so you could see how much you're gonna get. It's pretty much full, and this is the perfect amount for my hair. Um, if you tend to use more, you can always make more or less, but this is how much I'm gonna need, and I'm actually gonna be using this tomorrow. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge. If you're not gonna use it right away, you can put it in the fridge. I typically do not do that, but I wanted to film this video for you guys today. So 
this is going in the fridge and I will be using this tomorrow, but the best bet is to use it right away as far as I'm concerned, when it's nice and fresh. So that is it guys. If you have any questions down below, let me know. I do have a video also of how I make and use it. That is an older video, but you can see it there or I'll link some of my new hair playlists that I have or you can see how I use it. I normally use it when I'm deep conditioning, but if you guys wanna see that, I will link it down below. And I hope you guys really truly enjoy this video. I know you guys have been asking for it, so here you are. Have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.